Well, what my fellow South Africans can do, I urge them to share this video far and wide. All big cat species in the wild are in the decline now because of the breeding of big cat parts. I'd love to ask everybody to sign the Four Paws petition. And, it, and the petition is very simple. It just asks South Africa to stop the trade of big cats. South Africa is the world's largest exporter of big cats and their parts. South Africa is captive breeding four out of the five big cat species for commercial purposes. Tigers native to Asia are bred on an industrial scale and bred alongside indigenous species such as lions. For many years, we have been investigating the commercial trade of live big cats and their body parts, a multi-million dollar industry. Four Paws is the global animal welfare organization for animals under direct human influence. We reveal animal suffering, rescue animals in need and protect them. On the 2022 Lunar New Year, the year of the tiger, we released our latest report on big cat farming in South Africa. According to the trade database for the United Nations Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species, otherwise known as CITES. Between 2011 and 2020, more than 27,000 lion parts and live lions were exported from South Africa. And in addition, 452 tiger parts and live tigers were exported. The majority of these were destined for countries that are hotspots for illegal wildlife trade and where the demand for tiger parts and traditional medicines and luxury goods is extremely high. According to CITES, of which South Africa is a party, tigers cannot be intensively bred for commercial purposes, nor should they be bred for trade in their parts. In South Africa, however, currently there is a legal industry breeding big cats for commercial purposes. Although the South African government has recently stated their intent to end the captive lion breeding industry, our investigation showed lion and tiger, which are intensively bred for trade in live animals and parts, leopard, which are commercially traded for hunting trophies, and jaguar, which are also bred in South Africa for commercial purposes. The existence of the legal captive big cat industry and international lion bone trade, combined with ineffective regulations for species such as tigers, has allowed a legal industry to flourish and become a conduit for illegal trade. Big cats around the world are being decimated, illegally traded and trafficked to extinction. The UNODC welcomes the Four Pauls report, and we share the concern that legal markets, be they pet markets, captive breeding facilities, or zoos, without due regulation and supervision, can be exploited by criminal groups. The big cat industry provides cover for a network of sophisticated breeders and agents to engage in illegal activity for example by mixing tiger parts with legal shipments of lion parts. In South Africa, big cat breeding facilities by law must register with provincial authorities and update them on the current numbers of animals they're responsible for. Using PI requests, the South African version of Freedom of Information requests, we contacted all nine provincial authorities, as well as the National Department for Forestry, Fisheries and Environment, to find out if big cat numbers were accurately being recorded in both government and private facilities. The responses from these freedom of information requests were very disappointing. It seems no governing body in South Africa knows exactly how many tigers and other big cats are being kept in captivity in the country. South Africa's ineffective regulations and patchwork of laws on breeding, registration and responsible disposal of carcasses with the exact legal requirements varying from province to province are not adequate to protect these animals from illegal trade. Four Balls conducted site visits and gathered images from intensive breeding facilities websites and social media pages, information which is available on the public domain. From this research, it was clear there are vast numbers of tigers and other big cats bred in South Africa for commercial purposes. With so many big cats going under the radar, there have been cases of big cats kept in severely inappropriate conditions. 
As recent as August 2021, a Vietnamese national was arrested following a seizure. It is likely these parts were sourced from legal facilities that actively breed big cats in South Africa. The evidence we gathered from the CITES trade database and illegal trade from seizures suggests that South Africa is supplying Asian markets legally and illegally with both tiger parts and breeding stock. The existence of illegal trade contravenes CITES decision 1469, which states that tigers cannot be commercially bred for trade in their parts. South Africa has no excuses and must keep accurate records of all big cats in captivity. International agreements under CITES should be implemented in legislation as a minimum. South Africa should be a global player in protecting wild animals and not playing a major role in their decline. Government needs to act to put a stop to captive lion breeding. But I think the Four Paws report has been very, very re revealing and it's going to take us as uh, political office bearers and governments to ensure that uh, uh, the Four Paws recommendations uh, are, 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 you know, uh, applied by all governments across the world. South Africa will do the right thing and that uh, sooner rather than later you will find uh, South Africa implementing whatever has been uh, uh, decided upon at CITES and not only implementing but to uh, ensure that there's prosecution of those people that flout the laws uh, that we would uh, be tabling and promulgating in South Africa. We're also very, very appreciative of the work being done by organizations like Four Paws and other non-governmental organizations, but in particular Four Paws, because they have been at the forefront of ensuring uh, that uh, we do what is right as government and keeping this pressure on us as politicians uh, helps us. However, this is a global issue and it is clear existing international agreements are not working. The only way to prevent the decline of wild populations of all big cats is for the international community to finally end the captive breeding of big cats for a commercial trade in live animals and their parts. <laughs> Thank you.